the more, and I talk a lot, I deliberately talk a lot to you every single day because I want to get it all out. I really do. And I, and I have to, I want to explain it over and over so we can internalize this into our culture because I'm absolutely convinced that we have the answer. I'm, I'm hundred percent convinced that we have, um, we have everything we need, everything we need. There's so much wealth in the black community. It would blow your freaking mind. There is so much potential, so much possibility. Uh, but there are also these demons that are lurking in the background. There are these obstacles that we're not aware of that we have to confront. That's why I hired therapists to come and work in the black business school, because so much of it is based on mindset. So much of it is based on just self-confidence. You know, if you don't believe that you're capable of doing something, it doesn't matter how much potential you have. It doesn't matter how great you are. You know, so, so, um, so, you know, so, so it's a, it's a process, right? So what happens is that the convention becomes a cool place because I know that when I meet people that are coming to stuff like this or people who say, I listen to you every day, stuff like that, I already know who you are. I already know that your, your brain is on just on a different frequency. I know that you understand things better than most people. And I know that that can be very lonely. It can be very lonely because, there are so many people who who don't have that level of awareness who just you know you're you're you, it's like you're in the 12th grade and your relatives are still in middle school they or they're still in elementary school not to say that they're that you're better than them but you've just been taken down a, a, a journey that's a little bit further along and and what i want to do is if if we are a bunch of weirdos i want you to be a confident weirdo i want you to be confident that at some point they're going to know a lot of what you know it just may take them a, a two generations to get there I really firmly believe without a doubt that the stuff that we're doing right now is the kind of stuff where somebody 80 years from now is going to watch these videos and say, oh, my God, they were so ahead of their time. Right. So be ahead of your time. Be confident and stop. Look, don't look around for other people to validate it because they're just not going to be able to do that. But being in a space where where people think that that's normal and feel comfortable with that is pretty awesome. Because I can tell you when you understand things and you have an awareness of a problem and you know how to solve it and you get that feeling of freedom and liberation to say, wait a minute, I don't have to be broke. I don't have to be here. I don't have to go to work every day. I don't have to live this life. That's pretty awesome. Right. And I want your kids to be raised in the middle of that awesomeness. Like I want them to feel it and see it from the time that they're little and then just grow up in it. And that way they don't have to overcome the psychological barriers that plague you and I. So anyway, I'm going to, I'm going to stop yapping about it. I'm going to go ahead and answer a few more questions. I want to bounce on out. Uh, make sure you get on the text list so I can remind you when we do money in the morning, we're going to do this tomorrow morning at 10 AM Eastern. Uh, so if you aren't on the text list, text the word morning to eight, seven, nine, four, eight, and I'll send you uh, a link. All right. So let's see. Deborah says PTSD. Is there a group or how we get personal sessions with Dr. Alicia? Yes. My wife, uh, she's a licensed therapist and uh, she does see clients on an individual basis and also couples and families. So if you'd like to learn more about her work, uh, you can go to coaching with Dr. Alicia.com. That's coaching with Dr. Alicia.com. I don't know how much space she has for individual clients, but she, she may have some. So, so check with her over there and see what she's got going on. Uh, let's see. Donna says my daughter's 24 years old, debt free, obtaining her doctorate and has a $30,000 Thirty thousand for investments. Where where should we begin? Um, I would say mutual funds. Uh, if you go to blackwealthmasterplan.com, blackwealthmasterplan.com is um, where we have the five dollar day investing plan. I would start really simple. Uh, don't overthink it. If you are owning consistent pieces of the S and P five hundred over time, you're going to be just fine financially. And then if she wants to go deeper into stock options and things like that, then that's available as well. Uh, let's see. You know how companies try to sucker one in. Well, I would like to refi my car loan. Would I be able to shop per se with companies to get the best outcome? Then how does that the refi affect my scores? Um, well, every time you apply for credit, it does affect your credit score. Uh, but sometimes it's worth it. And uh, also, you know, you can refi uh, with, um, you know, when you sign up for stuff like Credit Karma and stuff like that, they're always sending you like these opportunities to refi stuff. And so, uh, so yeah, I, I don't think that's a bad idea, especially if your other loan or your other situation was bad. Uh, Aisha says, what is the best way to create a cash flow? I have $20,000 to start. Um, I think the stuff we do with stock options can help you with that. Um, if you uh, text the word money to 87948 and you'll get uh, immediately check the link that you immediately get back. And there's a link to a training called how to make money without working that introduces you to generating income from stock options with $20,000. I think you can do quite a bit. And, um, and then also just, but just make sure, make sure you get trained on it. So you kind of know how to protect your position because uh, all investing involves risk. And uh, and I don't want um, I don't want you to freak out if the market starts to act a little weird because it because it does do that. So never think investing doesn't involve risk. You always want to be prepared for the worst. Uh, let's see. Michelle, 
is it better to refinance a home or get a HELOC uh, to use for investments in stocks and real estate? Uh, I have about $200,000 of equity in your home, in my home. I, I think that that can work, especially just as a diversification strategy, because if all your wealth is tied up in your house, that's not so safe, in my opinion. I think that your money should be kind of spread out. So I think that and it also depends on what your goals are. So if your goal, like what the prime program is really good for is it's good for those of you that want to have extra income. If you want to make an extra two or three thousand dollars a month or something like that. And let's say you've got some money locked up in your home equity and you want to activate that home equity because you hate your boss and you want to quit your job. Well, that's a great pathway to do it. I mean, that's it's specifically the specific focus is how do we generate income and minimize risk as much as possible? That's all we focus on. So uh, if you go to drboysprime.com, you can take a look. And uh, and there are students who have gotten HELOCs. Uh, again, though, safety is literally my number one concern. So I always want you to be safe and uh, also just know what you're getting into. That's why the training is so important. You don't just want to blindly do stuff. All right. So let's see. Sharon, do you ever vote on issues? Let's see. Do you ever vote on issues related to stocks you own? Uh, yeah.